Hey, this is Kat from Red Mountain Shaman, and I share shamanic wisdom through dreams, visions, nature, synchronicities, intuition, channeling, art, music, photography, and shamanic journeys. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I wanted to share two shamanic journeys I experienced this week and what I was shown during them, as well as a beautiful channeled message from Yeshua that gives a little more insight into these meditations. But before that, I wanted to make an announcement that I am now accepting clients again. And if you would like your own channeled message, energy work, oracle card readings, or other healing services, you can book a session by going to my website at redmountainshaman.com. And I only book sessions through text because I've had emails disappear and go into junk mail and other problems. But once you book a session through texting, then I can work with you through email or phone if you or live if you live in my area. I um, do sessions in person with people that are close enough to me. But if you don't need to book a session and you just want to leave a comment or connect with me, please do so in the comment section of my videos rather than texting. So the first journey I did was with my friend Medium Michaela, and we have been working together a lot lately for our own healing and spiritual insights. And she has her own YouTube channel if you would like to hear her channeled messages from Yeshua and other ascended masters and beings of light, so you can go check that out. And I'm a personal believer that everybody channels through their own human filter. So this is why a lot of similar information is coming through, through different um, prophetic voices and channelers right now. But each person has their own signature energy that, that that information comes through. So she'll have a little bit of a different energy than me and vice versa. But um, I do really resonate with the messages that she receives and she is the real deal. She really is channeling Yeshua from what I can see. And so we really connect in this way because we have that in common. So in this journey that Michaela and I did together over the phone, I saw that it was clearly springtime. And then I saw a buffalo head with all manner of gorgeous flowers blooming around him. So the buffalo is one of my totems and it's also a symbol of abundance, especially in the Lakota tribe because they relied on everything from the buffalo for their sustenance. And this is why the dark side killed off their food supply. Um, then I saw a golden or yellow brick road in which Michaela and I were walking on with baskets. And then I noticed a stone box to the side of the road. We opened the box and inside the box was a book of wisdom with gold writing on it. And we heard, the wisdom is within you and you are bringing it forth to others. Then I noticed a grape hyacinth next to this book. When I looked up the meaning, I found that it is symbolic of wisdom sure enough, and tranquility. This flower is also aligned with the third eye chakra and it's, power, it's a powerful ally for energy healers experiencing spiritual exhaustion, which I think a lot of us are feeling right now. And you can actually purchase this flower essence of this plant to restore balance, resilience, calm, reintegration of the body and spirit during times of trauma, despair, shock, and overwhelm. And I actually used the word overwhelmed the other day, like I just was feeling overwhelmed with all the energies coming in. This flower essence is also good for energy workers who are needing to rebuild while feeling protected. So I just might order my own bottle, as well as maybe pick some that are growing wild in my yard. Michaela saw a variety of crystals in the box. When I tapped into a good corresponding crystal or crystals to work with for this flower, I heard amethyst for peace, grape agate for peace and protection, and purple quartz for healing, spiritual insight, courage, protection, and happiness. And I noticed that every single one of these crystals had the vibration of protection within them. So I think that um, spirit is asking us to really uh, work on protecting ourselves at this time energetically and doing some sort of a spiritual practice where you're doing visualization to do that every day. And at the end of this journey, Yeshua appeared, and he had an American flag bandana on his head, and he was wearing a golden earring, and he was on a motorcycle, which made us both laugh again. And I heard the words, Freedom Riders. 
And then with the Golden Earring, I immediately thought of the 1980s band Golden Earring. I was led to the chorus of their song Twilight Zone, and the lyrics are, Help, I'm stepping into the Twilight Zone. Place is a madhouse. Feels like being cloned. My beacon's been moved under moon and star. Where am I to go now that I've gone too far? Soon you will know when the bullet hits the bone. So Michaela heard the bullet hits the bone really means when the shit hits the fan. (laughs) Um, And then in this channeling that I did today, Yeshua describes this um, phrase as being everything coming to a head. When I looked up the meaning of coming to a head, it means that a crisis will soon be so bad that you have to start dealing with it, or that a problem becomes so severe that it reaches a state where you have to take action. In the message, Yeshua expounds on this a bit more. As for the meaning of the American flag bandana, you can go back and watch my video, America Will Be First, for more insights on this symbolism. And at the end of this journey, we saw Yeshua um, kind of dancing again, and he said, raise the roof, party, party. So I think that he's saying like it's gonna look bad for a little bit but then at the end we're gonna be able to celebrate so another thing i saw this week was herds of deer and i saw that three times this week one of the groups of deer was traveling down a paved road in a nearby neighborhood another group of deer was grazing near a green belt as we drove by And then I saw a photo that a friend posted of a group of deer in her backyard on social media. So as a spirit animal, deer are symbolic of intuition, inner peace, returning to nature, having a sensitive heart, gentleness, and freedom. But I think the deeper meaning that I was given about the deer was when I looked up the biblical meaning. The biblical meaning of the deer can be seen as protection, as God had preserved King David's life and kept him safe in times of danger, in particular with escaping from his enemies. I personally think this animal message is related to Mr. T, who seems to keep escaping all kinds of relentless allegations over and over and over again, and is currently in the midst of yet another trial by fire. The second journey I experienced in solitude this morning before breakfast, and today happens to be April 14th, and Michaela believes that today is Yeshua's real birthday. So in this journey, I saw a mist moving towards me, and then I saw a ladder. I climbed up the ladder, and it seemed as if I entered another higher dimension. But it was a little bleak and gray looking and fairly empty. But then a pool of water appeared. It was unclear about what all of this symbolized, so I asked Yeshua if he could explain this to me. He had a lot to say about all of this, so I hope some of it resonates with you all. And this is what I heard. I am the one you know as Yeshua. Some may know me as Jesus, but this was not my name, and this name has been used for many things throughout history that I do not approve of. For I am one with the creator of heaven and earth and all that is. I come to you this day in order to enact what was lost to you with the divine law of justice and sovereignty. It is becoming clear that many of you have lost your way on planet earth. Through the forces of darkness, many have decided that what is unjust is just, that what is slavery is freedom that what is contaminated is pure. All is upside down in a world of illusion and deception. And this will all come to a head in the months ahead. By this I mean that many will begin to see with new eyes as events escalate and many will want action and justice, freedom and mercy. As the events come to a head, there will indeed be divine intervention as the heavenly realms are assisting in this battle over the sovereignty of the planet and her inhabitants. This may look like anomalies that are unexplainable to many people who are unaccustomed to spiritual occurrences within the atmosphere. Some may actually feel like they are entering a twilight zone, so to speak. With my sword of truth, I bring light and knowledge. I am not incarnated in a human body at this time, But be assured that I am coming with my sword of truth, 
that will cut through deception and bring light, that which has been hidden for a long time. And I will show that which indeed needs to be shown in order to eliminate wickedness from this earth. Those who cut down the free will of others will reap what they have sown. The scythe and the sickle will come to harvest that which is ready and ripe, and those who have suffered at the hands of injustice will reap the harvest of divine inheritance. Those who continually push for control over others cannot run from the light. There is nowhere they can hide. The light will penetrate every dark place, every crevice, every tunnel, every bunker, and no rock shall be unturned. It is a sweeping out of all that has been swept under the rug. I now wish to explain the mist and the ladder you saw rising to another plane of consciousness. This mist is what is coming to cleanse and purify. The ladder leads to a new perspective of mind, and this is what I would call a new consciousness. The empty gray plane you witnessed is symbolic of the fresh slate humanity will be given. The pool is symbolic of the purification of water and the new age of Aquarius you will be moving into as a new epoch will soon begin. Many think the world is ending, and for some, what they perceive is what they receive. But those who walk the golden path of light into the golden age will watch the chaos and the raising of the old and not be affected by it. Others will approach life with fear and frenzy. It is the job of those of you who have volunteered to assist in this great changing of the guard to hold your ground as you are grounded, to show the way as you are led to your soul's mission, to anchor the codes of light within the earth's grids as a new grid is now lighting up in greater frequency. It is time to take a deep breath when you feel off kilter by these powerful energies and connect to the God force within you. It is time to put up your shields without fear. Know that you are the power and light you are seeking. Stand in this inner authority as you claim your victory over the darkness. There are many surprises and twists in the story that you are not fully expecting. Your heart knows the way. It all leads back to heart-centeredness, dear ones. Look within your own hearts rather than the ego of the mind for guidance. Go forward and take all steps back into the light that you are love and gratitude. Many illusions will be shattered, and many will be in shock and awe as new truths come to light. Many will choose not to believe what they are seeing, and this is what they are choosing according to their free will. But my lions are ready. We will assist the planet with love and care as we bring heaven to earth and as we begin to unify. Many teams will come together in order to play out their purpose and rebuild as we bring heaven back to earth in a great restoration of love and beauty. And so it is. I am he that returns with my sword of truth, and nothing can stop my return of light. Amen and amen. Thank you, Yeshua, and thank you all for being here. If you want to keep up with my weekly videos, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and please share this video with like-minded people. Feel free to leave a comment if you connect with these messages. Sending you all love until next week. Take care.